Hi, good morning. This is me, Yashasvi Acharya. You're watching Crypto TV, and these are today's top trending stories from the world of crypto. But before that, Tika Plant, a leading global content provider in the financial information services industry and the holding company of knowledge portal CryptoWire, has collaborated with Google Cloud. The partnership with Google is aimed to develop the CryptoWire ecosystem that will cater to all stakeholders of the cryptocurrency and blockchain industry on a common platform. Now let's have a look at today's headlines. US lawmakers wants Treasury to clarify digital assets. US SEC probing crypto lending products by Gemini and Celsius. New US bill gives Treasury Secretary unlimited power to ban crypto trades. Israeli crypto security firm Fireblocks raises $550 million at $8 billion valuation. SEC throws out a Fidelity application for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Fan token site Socius sues Argentine Soccer Association for violation. Cryptocurrencies mixed amid bearish sentiment, Bitcoin gains, Ether fluctuates. Crypto exchange Epiphany going public through $530 million SPAC merger. Melania Trump's hat NFT auction flops due to crypto crash. A bipartisan group of US lawmakers led by Republican Representative Patrick McHenry and Democrat Tim Ryan have asked Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen to clarify digital asset ecosystem. After the term was including in the Biden administration's $1 trillion infrastructure bill. The group also added that the part of the bill was ambiguous because Treasury could interpret who within the digital asset ecosystem qualifies as a broker, beyond what Congress intended and urged against a potentially expansive reading of the broker definition. As new financial technologies emerge, new regulations must be implemented on the digital asset ecosystem in such a way that the US must remain at the forefront of the financial innovation, added the lawmakers in the letter. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission is reportedly reviewing some of the high-yield crypto lending products offered by Gemini Celsius Network and Voyager Digital, according to reports. As part of an inquiry into digital asset lending services, the SEC is inquiring if these services could be considered securities and therefore must be registered with the Commission. The SEC's main concern is with the high yields ranging between 3 to 18 percent offered by crypto lending services, which are higher than most saving banks' offerings of less than 0.1 percent. While bank saving deposits are insured to some extent, investors of crypto assets are left to fend for themselves in the event of a failure. The SEC, however, has not opened a formal case against these companies yet. A provision in the new US bill, if passed, would give Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen unilateral and unchecked power to ban any crypto transactions without any process, rulemaking or limitation on the duration of the ban. According to experts, the bill empowers the Secretary to impose a surveillance special measure through a simple order. Provisions in the bill have added certain transmittal of funds to the list of things that can be banned for Secretary and also eliminates the requirement of a public notice and comments. Crypto advocacy organizations have warned that if adopted into law, this provision would be a disaster not just for crypto but for privacy and democratic public processes related to all types of financial transactions. Fireblocks, an Israeli cryptocurrency security company, has announced that it has raised $550 million in its latest round of funding at a company valuation of $8 billion. Most of the funds raised in this round will be invested in developing new products, while a small portion will likely return to investors in the company as the funding round involves sale of secondary shares. The company's valuation has nearly quadrupled since raised $310 million at a company valuation of $2.2 billion last June, while in March 2021, it was only valued at $700 million. Fireblocks, headed by Michael Sholoff, was founded in 2018 to help banks and financial institutions set up independent activities for storing and transferring cryptocurrencies. The round was co-led by D1 Capital Partners and Spark Capital with participation from General Atlantic, Index Ventures, Mammoth Capital G, among others. 
The US Securities and Exchange Commission has rejected the application from Fidelity for a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund. The rejection of the Fidelity's application for the Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust comes just a week after the SEC canned a similar spot Bitcoin ETF application filed by investment advisory firm First Trust and hedge fund Skybridge Capital. In December, the regulator rejected investment firm Krypton's its proposal to list a spot Bitcoin ETF. It has also rejected spot Bitcoin ETF proposals from Vanik and Wisdom Tree. In October, the first ever ETF backed by Bitcoin futures was launched by ProShares trading on the New York Stock Exchange. Other approvals include the Valkyrie Bitcoin Strategy ETF and the Vanik Bitcoin Strategy ETF. Fan token side Socius sued the Argentine Football Association for unilaterally terminating a sponsorship contract with it and signing a similar one with crypto exchange Binance. Socius filed a complaint before an Argentinian National Commercial Court which issued a prohibitory injunction ordering AFA recognize the three contracts signed with Socius. AFA plans to appeal the injunction. The legal action comes days after the AFA announced that it had signed an agreement with Binance to sponsor its national soccer terms and professional soccer league for five years. The deal includes the development of a fan token that will be released to the market shortly. Three weeks ago, the AFA cancelled a similar package of the three contracts that it signed in 2021 with Socius, including the launch and the maintenance of the national team token, Sarge. Bitcoin gained in early morning Asian trades Friday while Ether fluctuated, highlighting the nervousness prevailing in the cryptocurrency market following hawkish comments from US Federal Reserve Chairman Jeremy Powell. Investors are betting that the US Fed will raise interest rates more than four times this year. Amid the bearish crypto movement, the US dollar was strengthening, indicating investors' behavior of preferring safe haven assets instead of riskier assets such as stocks and cryptocurrencies. A strengthening dollar is also bearish for Bitcoin. The US dollar currency index was up by 0.79% over the past 24 hours to 97.2. The largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization was trading at $36,860,000, up 2.48% over the past 24 hours while Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, fluctuated and was trading at $2,389. Most other major altcoins also fluctuated. Epiphany Group, a digital asset trading network for institutional investors, has announced plans to go public through a reverse merger with Abri SPAC, a special purpose acquisition company. The transaction is expected to close in the third quarter and Epiphany will then list on NASDAQ. The enterprise value of the combined company is about $530 million, which includes up to $57 million in cash held in Abri's trust account. Founded in 2018, New York-based Epiphany offers a trading network with global price discovery across 25 exchanges, automated market to marker liquidity and institutional-grade security and compliance. Epiphany has partnerships with a number of high-volume digital assets exchanges, including Hubi Global, OKEX, KuCoin, OKCoin and Blockchain.com's exchanges. That's all from the world of crypto today. But before I go, let me tell you CryptoWire, a crypto super app, which also includes the channel Crypto TV, that's us by the way, has announced the launch of India's first index of cryptocurrencies, IC15. The IC15 index is aimed at helping investors track the performances of top 15 widely traded liquid cryptocurrencies listed on leading crypto exchanges across the globe. That's all for today. This is me, Yashasvi Acharya, signing out. Have a really good day. Keep watching Crypto TV. And do not forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon.